Okay, well, because Glenn don't know how to operate a camera as usual. And y'all didn't get to see what my mulberries look like. Uh, here we go. Okay. Let's see. Here's my hand. Dirty as it is. That's mulberry juice mostly. And, well, dirt. Sorry. And because I can't see, because I have a, you know, like I said, probably the world's cheapest high definition camera. It is a Kodak though. It does do good. That's what they look like. Okay, these are mulberries. This is what I'm eating for breakfast today. And when I get done, okay, there you go. This is what they look like. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I know. Stop eating mulberries. Stop filming high definition television. All right. Anyway, those are mulberries that grow on a tree. I do believe they're members of the Magnolia family. So, there. That's what they look like. And I collected a whole bunch of them. Like I said, I don't know how to operate a camera, so you're going to have to forgive me. Because Jesus said so. Alright. There you go, kids. That's what they look like. <clears throat> now, maybe if I wouldn't be such a retard. Okay. Yeah, here we go. There we go. There. That's what they look like one more time. Anyhow, I had to add that because, well, my camera doesn't have much of a space because it's widescreen and I don't really know if I need it or not. It just makes my viewing a little bit better this way, but I don't have much space this way. So, anyhow, there you go, kids, ladies, gentlemen, squirrels. Raccoons, deer, everybody out there that wants my mulberries today. That's what they look like. And they are edible. You can eat them. Just don't eat the green ones or the leaves. Because somebody said you might trip. And I told a couple of my friends that, and they were like, Ooh, yeah, let's go do it. I'm like, no, let's not. I have a hard time enough as it is with strange things occurring in my life. So anyhow, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to go pick some more of these. I'll show you what the tree looks like. And uh, maybe if I ever get busy and get all this stuff taken care of, we'll get out of here. Oh yeah, man, these are great. They're the first one. These will pop two or three times on one tree so you can get, you know, a continuous harvest for, a, you know, about a week, two weeks at a time. But anyhow, that's what I'm doing today. Having a little breakfast, prepping some scrap to go to the uh, recycling center that I got yesterday on the highway. I should have filmed some footage of that for you, but yeah, it was pretty boring and hot and sweaty. I don't think he wanted to see me all sweaty. I'm already dirty. But, yeah, without further ado, let's get this uh, shindig down. Let's get it on. Let's get out of town. Really, let's get out of town. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a little bit.